So this is Cocoa Plum Island. I've had a lot of um, people PMing me, asking me for some information about the island and if I could send over some videos. So here you can see there's a lot of inlets to get into the water. It's a really beautiful, crystal clear day. Just get out right between those trees and get out in the water. And as you can see, ours is the last unit on the island, the glass cabana. The island is 16 and a half acres of private island. There's some mangroves back there, some more undeveloped area that they could still develop. There are 18 cabanas in total. And right now the island is completely full which means there's 36 couples on the island and every cabana has an ocean view. I mean, look at that. Look at that water. You just walk right out into it and how calm and beautiful it is. So there are four premium ocean view cabanas and that's what mine is. They're all the way down at the end, um, right in front of the water. And then they have a standard cabana which also has a ocean view but they're just a little bit further back like that pink one right there it's not the blue one's not in front of it it's kind of staggered so you don't you have a complete unobstructed view of the ocean right in front of you it's just the way it's filming it might look like that <laughs> so it's a 16 and a half acres of private island um, only guests can be on the island at any given time it's all inclusive Includes all the food, alcohol, and it's local alcohol, like local gins and vodkas and rums and such. Anything that's more of a premium, like if you want Grey Goose or Absolute, that's just considered a more premium beverage. So you would just have to pay pay for those, but you know drinks are all so good doesn't really matter what kind of alcohol they put in them in my opinion but and so like, here's a ocean view as you can see that's that's the view and there's the water you just walk out to your own little private beach and you just uh you just get out there and it's absolutely breathtaking and beautiful so being at the end, like Kevin and I, um, the restaurant and the bar are about a five or six minute walk across the island. So and we like it. We like getting our our daily walk and activities. So it's it's really nice. And you'll see me walk this entire island and I probably won't walk into anybody. It really is almost like having your own private island. Nobody around to interrupt you bother you everybody comes together though in the bar and restaurant area three um, meals a day breakfast lunch and dinner and they are really good portions so you don't ever have to worry about getting hungry they have um, snacks in the afternoon and you want anything extra you just ask them and they they give it to you but like I said they give you tons of food so having food here is, um, and going hungry is not an option. So it's almost noon right now. Just uh, went back to the room to go and grab my lower sunscreen. They have sunscreen at the bar, but they were all a little bit higher. I wanted just a teeny bit more sun, so I went to go get my 15 and put it on. So this is my walk to the restaurant, to the bar each day, which again, I really, really like it. It's a really beautiful, calm day. Sometimes the wind sets in just a little bit, not where it's um, too windy by any means, but just enough to give you that cool, cool breeze. Another cabana. And some people like being right next to the restaurant and bar. About hmm, 
9 o'clock at night after dinner's completely over. People either head back to their cabana to hang out by their own little beach or they go out to the dock or they all go to the bar and it becomes a, a, a party. So we've been hanging out at the bar a lot. We have a couple from Minnesota. Pretty fun and they like to party. So we stay up with them. The other night it was like 2 a.m. Great time. So, as you can see, we've, I've walked this entire island from one end to the other almost length, uh, lengthwise, and really haven't seen anybody yet. But once we get up to this bar and restaurant right here, you'll see that we'll see a lot of people. It's just so peaceful and beautiful and. The water is absolutely incredible. Tons of fish, and Belize is known for diving and snorkeling, so it is a diver and snorkeler's paradise. So, there is a lot of cool things to see in the water, and a lot of they take you out on snorkeling trips here. It's part of the included in the package. So, are the kayaks and the Hobie Cat. So see, we start seeing some people hanging out on the docks and stuff. People like to stay close to the bar, obviously. And people like, you know, engaging with people. Everybody's really friendly. Everybody becomes your friend when we say goodbye to others. New people come in. So people are at the dock waiting to welcome them. And uh, it's just a really cool experience really cool vibe so this is where the uh, kayaks are you just get in them and you hop from key to key do whatever you want go wherever you want there's the Hobie cat which is a mini sailboat those things are pretty dang awesome as well it's that water for days so there's the restaurant you can see people having their lunch. You have lunch outside or inside, whatever you prefer. And then here is the bar area. You'll see some people in the bar. Where have you been all day? You miss us? We do miss you. <laughs> what are we doing? And this is where the fun happens. We were here early to say goodbye to people and have breakfast to say goodbye to this. And then we just went and hung out on our cabana all morning. Morning, guys, or afternoon, I guess. <laughs> and so people bring their t-shirts and hang them up. And so the hurricane ripped all the other ones out, so they started over. But I didn't bring a t-shirt, dang it, so next time. Anyway, so this is Coco Plum. It's a dream come true.